Mark? Well, the numbers surrounding opioid use and deaths staggering here in South Florida. Boynton Beach police say in 2017 they responded to more than 600 overdose calls, of which 67 of those were fatal. Now, we are only a few days into 2018. One overdose death has been reported so far. And so for families struggling, family members trying to find the right treatment center for their loved one, it could be tough to figure out what to do. So joining us now, Jerry Halfley right now from the Ambrosia Treatment Center. And you were really instrumental in getting our task force up and running here, of course, with uh, Dave Ehrenberg as well. Tell us what that task force is and how it's doing so far. I think the task force is doing a fantastic job. It originated approximately a year and a half ago uh, because we realized that with the epidemic going on and the crisis in our country we had to do something along with any type of epidemic like that there were some bad players in the industry so the good providers where which there are many of in South Florida got together and said we want to do something to change this because we want to provide a safe effective facility for these clients to come come to and so that was the goal and what sort of successes have you have you seen so far what could you look back and say yes that worked well Dave Ehrenberg and Al Johnson have done a fantastic job at not only educating themselves with our space mm -hmm. uh, but also cleaning it up there have been several arrests the industry is well on the way to being cleaned up and now the, the this vulnerable population could come in a safe, effective place. And as I mentioned right at the top there, you're from, of course, the Ambrosia Treatment Center. Um, tell us about what that center provides to our community. I, I appreciate the opportunity to talk about this. I personally have been involved in health care for the past 25 years, mm -hmm. 10 of which were in the acute care setting working as a nurse at the University of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. During these 25 years, I've seen the crisis that this has caused to families, individuals. So after relocating down to South Florida from Philadelphia and seeing what was going on, I wanted to do something better. So we opened up Ambrosia Treatment Center. Ambrosia Treatment Center has five centers located in three separate states. Over the past 10 years, we have treated over 10,000 clients. And what is the difference, uh, you know, a common question between a treatment center and a detox center? Is there a difference? Absolutely. There's a lot of confusion between not only a detox center and a treatment center but also sober homes right and it's called a continuum of care right so what happens is somebody calls up and they need to be medically cleared hence they go to detox center mm -hmm. there's two types of detox centers mm -hmm. there's the acute care setting which is hospital based and a standalone mm -hmm. and what they do is they go in there they get the medication they get the 24-hour monitoring and make sure they're clear from a medical perspective but you call yourself a treatment center so how is that different then? correct after that then they go to the treatment center Got at it. the treatment center what we do is we provide education we have help, helped them deal with their core issues a lot of them have family issues you know uh, employee issues children's issues whatever the issues are we help them to start to build a foundation to get mainstreamed and what do you feel like someone should be looking for when they're when they're trying to pick as far as where they should go to get their treatment what should they be looking for when they're doing their homework that's a great question because it, as again this is a very vulnerable population so right. they're just calling up wanting help right and it's like I've been in healthcare for a long time people think they go to this doctor and that doctor and all the same and they're not right. so what I what I tell people is ask for is it a patient-centered treatment in other words are they able to segregate what I mean by that is are able we have 18 to 25 program over 30 and then we have different niches like trauma mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm. so that way they can deal with the core issues and be comfortable with their peers so are they able to give you that individual personalized care that's a big part of it right and and that's a big buzzword in our industry and individualized personalized care that everybody uses but it's not always valid and so you got to do your homework to make sure it's out there well uh, the, a couple more things that I think are key. Real quick, we got a couple minutes. Okay, left. the key things are what are the client therapist ratio? Mm -hmm. Is it six or eight to one, or is it fifteen to one? Are they getting to deal with their things? What is the credentials of that person? Mm -hmm. Are they doing evidence-based outcomes? Right. Like we're working with Rutgers University up in New Jersey, and we're also starting to work with Nova down here. And all fantastic things to look for. Make sure you do your homework when you're helping yourself or a family member out. Jerry Haffey with the Ambrosia Center. Thank you so much for being here, and good luck with the uh, with the task force. Thank you very much for your time. All right, well, WPBF 25 News, our parent company, of course, Hearst TV, part of a big initiative to help inform, educate, combat the opioid crisis and addiction we're seeing in this country. So if you want more information on getting treatment and how the state is battling this crisis, go to WPBF.com. We have a tab there. It's called State of Addiction. We have a lot of information posted for you. Steph, I'll send it over to you. Really important information to you, Mark. Thank you. Shutting down Hearst.